Riley got slammed last night. Riley Martin show was on last night. I hope people are watching and listening and, well, not watching, but listening. It seems the best way that people get to Riley is they make some sort of gay comment about him and Eron, his partner on the air. Oh. And Riley is very, like, not into that. You know, it just, it, and, and it's so cool because, like, every person who calls in almost says something gay. <laughs> and then Riley will cut them off the second they say jism or semen. Oh, or, really? Yeah, yeah. And then, he, and then he comes, it's almost like third grade. He comes back at him with an insult, but Riley's not real good at insulting them yeah, back. Yeah, his insults are terrible. Yeah. It's sort of sad, actually. <laughs> he should just let it blow by, and they don't, no one would even call in with it. But it's because he reacts that everybody gets yeah, into it. Yeah. He gets crazy from it. The last caller uh, regarding uh, Sal recurring his uh, memory of being a soul, and I was wondering how you could possibly suck a cock if you're just energy. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I mean, otherwise, <laughs> all he has to do is be reborn as you. <laughs> uh, all right. Then. I'm rubber, you're glue. <laughs> Everything you say bounces back to you, right, Iran? <laughs> and then, and then, Iran and uh, Riley laugh at it. <laughs> Next car, Riley. This is Cody in New Hampshire. Hello, Cody in New Hampshire. Hey, space cowboy. How are you? Well, how do you like the salty taste of Iran's gooch? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, my goodness. Uh, the next time you tell me how much, uh, extra seasonings you put in the, the gooch, uh, that you do, okay? All right. Hmm. See, these are the kind of people that explain the leadership. Uh, uh, All right, yeah. next car, Riley. Uh, 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 <laughs> this is Eric in Pennsylvania. Yeah, they would love to, uh, be able to smell the Koch brothers' drawers. Okay, <laughs> who is that? No, Eric in PA. No. No. Riley has the worst, uh, <laughs> The worst sort of insults. That is the craziest one I've ever heard. The, the Koch brothers. <laughs> he's, he's latched onto the Koch brothers. Wow. Yeah, Riley does not want to hear about jism and sucking another guy off. Like, he just does not. You know, he's old school. He can't even laugh at that shit. <laughs> and then, you know, once once uh, someone calls in with one, you see, they just got they just keep coming like all night. <laughs> all right. Here's Sean in Texas. Hello, Sean in Texas. Hey, Riley. Thanks Sean. for taking my call. Love your show. Okay. I Thanks. I had a question about, about time travel. Uh, if you were mm -hmm. to able to travel back in time again, say, even maybe an hour before the show started, mm -hmm. would you regret swallowing Iran's jizz or what yeah well uh it's like it's like good man uh if i could travel back in time an hour then i'd know how not to let you come on air wouldn't i <laughs> you smuts <laughs> now smuts i think is uh he's trying to use yiddish he's saying putz and schmuck so he goes you smuts because <laughs> now he's getting crazy and like you know they're into the show and everyone is calling up with gay stuff and Iran and and then Riley finally has it. Some guy makes a crack like, hey, what if the aliens come on your son's face or something? You know, and then when you get into the kids and stuff, that ain't right. And Riley gets crazy and then he starts, he's trying to fucking attack the guy. And he, <laughs> I don't know. Global you know. warming is caused by depletion of the ozone layer due to carbon emissions. Yeah. And I'm wondering if any of that, uh, any of those carbon emissions are caused uh, when the Biovians come on your son's face. No, uh, no, but uh, I'll tell you this. In, uh, by seeing that evil thing about your son, uh, there will be a cosmic retribution to come back on you, son, for that. Because whereas I can't see everything you do, you better believe. And if you, which I doubt, believe there's a greater power than us all, then uh, for that one, you will pay. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got him. I put the on him. <laughs> but anyway, this goes on all night, and it is the best show on radio. <laughs> <laughs> anything to do with cum and Iran and anything just makes Riley insane. <laughs> and if Riley just let it bounce off his back and laughed at it, it would, no one would. It would. It would. It wouldn't even be fun anymore. It would just be boring. Well, thank goodness he fights back. Right. Well, he gets crazy from it. But that's his... Sh listen, that's what makes Riley a great uh, entertainer. <laughs> so make sure to listen to the Riley Martin show. 
Remember how pissed Riley got when JD called him up for sex? Oh yeah. Yeah. You know. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Yeah. I'm too tired to actually go look for it. Maybe not. Look at this. Riley, it's JD from the Stern Show. JD, okay, JD. Uh, are you doing, are you, do, you, do you have a moment? Are you, do you, are you busy? Uh, well, it depends on what you'd want to talk about, kid. <laughs> well, that, I, this is awkward. I, I've never really done this before. I never really propositioned anyone sort of like this before. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I always know you're looking for more money. I can... I can pay for certain things, or I can. Well, I, I, do you sort of know what I'm getting at, like with propositioning and you know that sort of thing? Uh, no, I don't know what you're getting at. What are you getting at? Well, uh, <laughs> I, I, we we have just. I, I don't know how close are you to Atlantic City? Uh, I would have. Uh, we're doing this block party in Atlantic City, and uh, I'm sort of gonna have my. Uh, my my own hotel room. Yeah. And I, I didn't know if I, I, I didn't know if you'd wanna like, you know, spend the <laughs> spend the night or anything. No, what are you saying? Uh, I I I've never uh What are you saying? So hard because I've never really talked about this or anything. What are you saying? I, I'm I'm lonely, man. But then what do you want? I want you, man. Oh. I, I want you in a physical way. Whoever Indicated to you, I told you uh, that uh, this was my prerogative. <laughs> Stupid fuck. Have you ever seen my wife? You, do you haven't been with a guy? Oh man, I don't play that shit. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, you never like experimented in college? No, get the fuck off the college, phone, man. Can, can you just talk dirty for like two seconds? And don't call me no more with this bullshit. No, I. Do you understand? I will kick your fucking ass. Take care now. Uh, yeah, that was the end of that. No romance there. So. Some guys get really bummed out by you, you know. <laughs> I see any time anyone comes on to me as a compliment. <laughs> not everybody sees it that yeah, way. I'm like, wow, you're attracted to me? Thank you. I'm not into gay stuff, but I can't tell you how honored I am that you'd even consider me. I've yet to have a gay man proposition me. Honestly. Gay people do not find me attractive. <laughs> That's how you know you're not attractive when gay people don't gay find you attractive. Gay people are the, are the, you know, they, they are the ones Yeah, who... they're very honest and they're like, you know, you're, not, you're just not attractive. <laughs> <laughs> now, had Riley said yes, it would have been a great bit because we would have made JD go through with it. We would have gotten the hotel room and everything and taped it. But unfortunately, Riley does not go that way.